and i would request our last uh, panelist uh, ca mary to please uh, start her presentation ca mary are you there yeah just a second i'm trying to uh, share my screen no worries So is my screen visible? Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, very good afternoon to everyone present here. Uh, I'm my Mary Brenda. I am a chartered accountant with a background in uh, engineering and uh, management. Uh, today, I'm very excited to share with you uh, the uh, uh, tool that I have developed. It's called Smart GST, uh, AI Circular Summarizer. To start out with the problem, uh, a problem that we are uh, facing is uh, uh, nowadays, we have quite a lot of uh, GST circulars that are coming up on a day-to-day -day basis. And the language that is pretty much used is uh, not very, uh, very flexible, not easy to understand by uh, no normal individuals or business people. And the circulars are typically used in, uh, I mean, are uh, announced in English. But in India, we have a diverse language, a diverse language. So in order to make it accessible for everybody across uh, different languages, this tool has been done. So the solution that we came up with is uh, use uh, Smart GST. It auto scripts the latest circulars from the uh, GST website. And it also uses uh, GPT to uh, give you an executive summary, an impact analysis, a contextual background, and the actions. It also translates into a regional languages. And you also have an option to upload a, a PDF for you to summarize. So let me go to the uh, tool now so that we can see. Just a second. So this is the tool that have been developed using a streamlit. Uh, we have three tabs here, the Browse GST Circular, the Upload PDF, and the Dashboard. The Dashboard is just gives you a summary by tags of the different circulars that have been uh, uploaded till now by the uh, GST Council. And this is like the number of GST circulars issued per quarter and the different categories on which uh, the uh, GST circulars have been uh, released. So the interesting part now we come to is the Browse GST Circular. Here we have an option to, you know, uh, search for the GST circulars across date range. So we have an option to uh, like choose like uh, from Jan June 30th to let's say, oh, sorry. Oh. I'm sorry, there's some, uh, yeah. Uh, so you can filter it via date range, via years as well as month. So if you let's say for all years, January month, we want you have the option like it filters all the uh, circulars that are come in the month of January. So let's say if you want to summarize this particular circular clarification on applicability of late fee, you just click on the circular. It automatically gives you a tag on whether it's a late fee, GSTR 9, GSTR 9C. And then you have an option to download the circular and you also have the option to summarize the circular. So when you summarize the circular, uh, it shows you the uh, time taken to process it uh, in a matter of few seconds. So let's say like uh, less than 10 seconds, we have got an executive summary, the key provisions, the uh, taxpayer impact analysis, whether it for businesses or practitioners, a specific industries, and what action has to be taken and why the circular was given. It gives you a background on what was the context related why the circular was given. So here you have an option to download the summary as a PDF as well as uh, you can save it. And you also have an option to download summary as an HTML tool. Now we can have an option to translate the summary from various languages. So let's say if you want to translate into Gujarati, I don't know Gujarati, so I'm just going to click on uh, translation. Uh, so in a matter of again few seconds, we'll get the entire translation in uh, in the regional language that was selected. 
So this app was developed using uh, Streamlit, and uh, before being uh, before doing before be, before I became a chartered accountant, I was a business analyst. So the role I had to do was to tell the developer uh, what were the what my requirements were, and the developer used to code it and give it to me. But now instead of a developer, I've used just ChatGPT and Claude. I just give it requirements saying that okay, this is the uh, scenario I want. I want to uh, I want an app to download GST surplus from the website, and I want it to summarize. So I had a get, I had a, get a lot of conversation with the uh, ChatGPT and Claude AI, and which ended up giving me the entire uh, program. If you give me a couple of more seconds, once the translation is done, I can show you the uh, code also. Yeah. So this is the translated summary in the uh, regional language. Once again, an option to download it into in your system. So the you can see the code here. Uh, this is the code. This entire code is around uh, 520 odd lines, none of which was uh, written by me. All I gave was the uh, requirements to the chat GPT, which came up with the uh, code. So the key features, as I mentioned, is the uh, web scraper. Uh, we use uh, GPT 3.4 Turbo for the summarization. Uh, language translation has also been done using Open API. Uh, so the tech stack was, uh, uh, yeah, uh, front, end, front end was streamlit. NLP was OpenAI GPT 3.5 Turbo. Visualization, we did Matplotlib and WordClub. Web scraping was done by Beautiful Soup and uh, Request. So future in enhancements is right now I used uh, keywords uh, inside the code. But uh, if you use models like Ebert and Spacey, which is present in Hugging Spaces, we can uh, automate the uh, tagging of the circular headings. So uh, we can also produce, uh, come up with a notification for newly scraped circulars and also provide an option for chat interface. And it can also be extended to other uh, income tax circulars, et cetera. So in, uh, just to conclude, I would say this is a uh, 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 a scalable solution for the real world uh, compliance uh, issues that we are facing uh, uh, made using uh, AI and automation. Thank you. We presented and I think again, you are within time because I didn't heard Rishi saying that two minutes left. Like, okay, thank you. Uh, with this, uh, first of all, so one, uh, even Navya has shown the same kind of stuff with, uh, but very so just what the difference i'm trying to point out is that uh, can this uh, scrapping of circulars be also automated oh yeah see uh, this if you looked at the code uh, so autumn um, see like any time a new circular comes into it any time the new circular comes in uh, once you run the code like today if i'm running the code and the circular is released x today it will automatically get populated into the uh, into the entire list so the day you run the app till that moment whatever circular has come will be uh, uploaded so if, as you said in future we can provide a notification like where a new circular comes in then you can inform the user that okay a new circular come has can come. you not make a so that can the be rpa kind of situation where it will run every day once and check Oh, no, I haven't done like that. It's just, you know, uh, just an app for the demo purpose, but that can be taken into consideration for. Uh, yeah, so, so that you want it to be manual automated. intervention gets eliminated. So every day it will check that is there any service? Yes. yes, it will automatically update. Yeah, I can make a note of it. And once again, I can go back to Claude or uh, ChatGPT, which would give me the next steps to go forward. Very, very so. nicely presented. So, one, you are getting the circulars available, and then you are able to get a timeline basis circular and then you are so will it again how do one summarizes all that circulars downloaded yeah uh, you it's just downloaded into our uh, local system i mean just a second i can so in case an 